what time it is. It's turkey time! Yes, it is time for us to do our traditional turkey. So we're going to take kosher salt, put it into a container. We're then going to have the bay leaves. We're going to have the pepper. We're going to have aniseed. All going to get into the solution. We're going to put the turkey in, fill it with water, make sure that 100% of the turkey is covered. So what does the brine do to the turkey? You have the meat, you have the muscles, you have the tissue, and the brine breaks the tissue down over time, which makes the turkey softer, moist, and just much tastier than conventional uh, cooking a thawed out turkey. As this is a frozen turkey, we will keep it outside of the refrigerator for around about five hours. Although that you think to yourself, oh my word, I've got to rush and put this straight into the refrigerator. You actually don't need to do that because of the chemical reaction of the frozen turkey against the water. So water always tries to find the colder source and water always tries to get down to 32 degrees or zero. Um, and the frozen turkey, the salt, the water, it will then transfer the frozen cold element into the water. So it draws it out of the turkey and thaws the turkey out. And then the water becomes ice cold. Uh, if you had to take this and put it straight into the refrigerator, the turkey will actually take a whole lot longer to thaw out because the extraction of the cold or the ice out of the turkey would not be able to take place um, within that time frame. So it is a, uh, a chemical reaction that is in our favor. Um, this helps and supports the turkey being um, just ready for the uh, for the grand event, which is the cooking. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to now just put on the cover. We have a deep roasting dish, just a foil one time use. Three pounds of medium sized russet potatoes, two onions. Cool. Let's cut up the potatoes. You don't need to uh, peel them um, and just put it into kind of evenish blocks of about one inch in size. We uh, wash the potatoes to get rid of the sand that's still remaining on the potatoes. And then when you cut the onion, cut it into uh, slightly smaller pieces than the uh, potato. Time to put all the stuff in the foil dish. This is actually my, uh, my mother's recipe. When we uh, said to her that we were going to start uh, doing turkey, the uh, first thing she did was she uh, shared her secret recipe. It was so secret when we grew up, we didn't even know it even existed. Um, and uh, since then, every single year when it comes to Thanksgiving, this is the, uh, the recipe that we use. So she handed it down to us and we're handing it down to you. So having delicious turkey, this certainly is awesome. Time to get the turkey out the refrigerator. The main event is upon us. Dun, dun, dun. What actually happens and why we do this um, this is actually for the uh, one that the turkey doesn't sit in the juices while it is cooking um, as well as for the leftovers we're going to make a turkey pie um, and this is going to be for the filling for the turkey pie. And 
and just take out the neck or the giblets, whatever else is left inside here. Um, what we do is we have breast side up. Um, what I have found over the years is that the having it the other way around dries out the turkey. Once you have the turkey out of the brine, you're going to get a paper towel and we're going to pat, pat it dry. Um, it gives you the, uh, the crunchiest, crunchiest skin possible if the turkey is dry. Starting off with a little bit of olive oil, um, that's going to give the rich brown coating. Um, we then add in black pepper, we add in garlic, and you add in some chicken rub um, just to cover it. Okay, so we are now good to get this into the oven and uh, I will show you periodically what it looks like um, during the uh, cooking process. So it should be great, looking forward to it. This is gonna be one delicious turkey. What you have to do is when you've taken your foil and you're ready to put it into the oven, have a tray. Um, make sure that the foil is secured with the tray underneath it. Because once you actually have this ready and it's cooked and you wanna take it out the oven, if you don't have a tray, it becomes very difficult to carry around because you can't just pick it up from the sides because it will just collapse in the middle. Um, so if you have a tray, it's secure, um, it has no impact on the cooking at all, it just makes it super easy to transport in and out and moving it around, whatever you need to do. So top tip. This turkey is not going to be a stuffed turkey, considering it's already stuffed. No, I'm kidding. Tell you, the smell over the last three hours has been painfully amazing. It has just been to die for. This turkey just looks superb. Just superb. Wow, I'm speechless. And that's not very frequent, but I'm speechless. And I am speechless. This looks beautiful. To get the correct temperature, you need to be between 165 and 170, and this is smack bang on the 165.6, which is ideal. Um, over the next 30 minutes, the temperature will rise by a couple of degrees, so it is in the absolute perfect window of amazingness. Let's get some more food. Hmm. Oh my word, this is going to be how beautiful and juicy is this? Ah, oh, this is, it is soft, it is tender, look at the skin, it's herby, it is just so moorish, it's got the crunch. It's got the softness, the juiciness. Mm. You do your turkey in this way, people will be beyond amazed. It is 
seriously not difficult to do. Brine it for 15 hours, get it out of the brine, put the potatoes in, put the onions, put the turkey on top of it, you put a little bit of olive oil around, you put your spices, cook it 13 minutes per pound around the three hour mark and it'll come out beyond, beyond, beyond perfectly. This is not complicated. You have to give it a little bit of time. The turkey has to be thawed out. The critical components are the thawing out and the brine. Be patient on the cook, be patient on this, and you will be the superstar of superstars when it comes to your friends and family around your dinner table for Thanksgiving or any time beyond Thanksgiving. From my mother's secret recipe to everyone out there using this, hope you guys have a good one and see you on the next video.